Hello guys, welcome back to The Sims Real Estate. So today we are doing an apartment renovation again. Uh, so as I said on, in my last build, I wanted uh, to do another build where I use the new objects that came with the, the last update. Uh, which added some Christmas uh, objects. Uh, to the early day free pack so here we are and so we are renovating the building just next the building the apartment that is just next to the last one so this one is the 19 Culpepper house apartment and the last one was the 18 uh, Culpepper house apartment and uh, so for this apartment and I didn't really do a mood board, I just wanted to go in the game and see the objects we had. I had seen the 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 live stream the 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 Sims uh, uh, team did a few weeks ago and I saw some of the objects but there were new ones also added uh in the update, like uh, there already there is T-shirts uh, promoting Baby Ariel, and there is the Lindsay speakers that apparently I just saw this afternoon uh, an article saying that uh, on the Sims community that the the, those, the new speakers. Uh, make your game crash so I didn't know knew that when I placed them there will be uh, the Lindsay speakers in this build in this uh, apartment but I didn't know that because I haven't uh, tested them yet uh, in my current household in the sims I didn't use the, it so yeah, you have to, if you don't know this, uh, this apartment, you have to look for that. <laughs> Apparently, it uh, makes uh, the, uh, it makes the, like, uh, if you want to travel with your sims, it makes it lag and it might maybe even crash the game. So here, as I said in the last video, I don't like those uh, fixer upper objects that they place in the, the, these buildings, like, the electric box and the plumbing. Uh, so I I them with small rooms like here. I do like a kind of um, coat rack inside of the room, like it has some purpose. And your steam sims can still access to it if it breaks. I already um, tried it uh, in gameplay. And so I really like, uh, apart from the, the uh, controversy uh, uh, around the Lindsay speakers, I really like the new objects. There is only a few ones, but I really like them. I really think they add to the atmosphere. I like the simplicity of the end. They look really realistic. So, uh, I love those little mason jars with uh, little... Christmas trees inside of them. I really find them cute, and so and I use also as you see uh, the table, the picnic table that looks really awesome for uh, interiors. For uh, this house, I was a little bit inspired by uh, the Scandinavian style. I use a lot of light woods, so light colors. It's not my my favorite apartment that I done but it's quite cool I really like it it's really zen it's not uh, I try to not clutter that much uh, the the balcony is I think it's the most cluttered uh, part of the, the house but it's still cute you'll see I think I do the balcony at the end of the video and so yeah that's that's the what we are going to do and uh, i saw that already a lot of simmers posted their their videos about the update but i i did i filmed this apartment 
uh, renovation just after I edited the last video that came out uh, on Wednesday, I think. Yes, on Wednesday. And um, but I didn't. I don't like to post the videos too close to each other. I don't want to start uploading every day because I don't think I will be able to upload every day. Uh, so it's why I want to wait a little bit to post it. I'm, I don't know if this video is going up on Thursday night because it's already Thursday night. <laughs> I don't know if as I will finish uh, editing it I will upload it or if I'm going to wait for Friday afternoon to post it. Uh, I'm going to think of it. But when you will see it, I hope it's still relevant because there is so much videos already about the, these new objects. But the, the apartment is already up in the gallery. Uh, for those who are following me in the gallery, may, maybe you already saw it. Mm, and uh, yeah. Uh, I really try to use all the uh, the Christmas tree objects that came with the new the new update, but also the ones from the seasons pa pack and the the other uh, holiday free uh, free holiday uh, holiday free pack <laughs> that was hard. Um, uh, to do here, I'm doing something I really like to do. I took those little not stamps, but um, how, how do you call it? Stickers, kind of stickers, and I put them in the in the windows. It makes me like it feels like there is children living in an apartment, or like the parents put them in the windows. My mom loves, and I'm not a children <laughs> anymore. But my mom loves to for to decorate the uh, when she decorates the apartment for uh Christmas she loves to put those stickers in the windows. Uh so it's why I really like to do to do that trick uh, in my builds. Uh as always I really try for my builds to feel realistic. Uh here we uh we just seeing the famous or may maybe <laughs> unfamous uh, Lindsay speaker, we saw it. I really like those little hanging uh, frames that they did, but I would like them to be a bit less chunky and a bit bigger because I was struggling and I will size it up in uh, in the end because I would like it to take more space. <laughs> Maybe if you had like Picture of your sims next to it and a nice, nice shells. It would look nice, uh, but uh, in your, it's only was that. I love those Christmas cards that are suspended there. <laughs> it's really random, but I really like it. And yeah, here we are doing the kitchen. Nothing special, like I always. Do the same. I try, even if I try to do the different things in the decorations, in the end, look often similar. <laughs> uh, tell me in the comments uh, what do you think about the last update and um, about also the Lindsay uh, speakers. I hope it's going to, to, they are going to fix it like. Uh, quickly, I I I'm sure they will do a, an update in the next few weeks to to fix that problem. And um, um, also, I saw in a in a group in a Facebook group on a, on Facebook that some were complaining about the baby Ariel um, merch. In the Sims, I don't mind that much. Uh, I think it's interesting. Uh, what I think the the electronic arts is trying to do is is bring more 
more uh, more people to the community, bring more uh, more attract more customers and uh, to buy the game because yeah we have already a strong fan base in the sim a strong community but i think uh compared to maybe other games they have it's not that big of a community i don't know the numbers i should have looked into it uh but uh i think it's so okay it's like it would bother me much if it was like when they did with Katy Perry that they did a whole pack with her and I, it was the worst pack we had in the Sims 3. Like there was no point to do that and they really tried to promote it like it was awesome pack you should buy it and in the end I never bought it <laughs> thankfully I never bought it it was really a useless pack in the Sims uh, 3 and that would bother me but here it's just free stuff and, and it's just uh, like more of a collaboration a collab uh, for them to attract like all since I think she does videos on TikTok and it's a growing up uh, uh, for for most of the teenagers and youngsters nowadays and I think like it's a great um, strategy to attract more of the target audience of the game. Um, I don't know. I think it, I, it doesn't bother me in the end. Tell me in the comments if you think if it bothers you. I understand the people who don't like. I'm viewing it more from my communication marketing communications uh, uh, <laughs> uh, because I have a, a degree in marketing and communication so I under, I understand what they are trying to do and it doesn't bother me but I understand that for people who are not specialized uh, in the in this film it's hard to understand the move since most of us don't know who is baby Ariel. I truly don't know who she is. I only read a, a few articles uh, written by by players of The Sims talking about uh, the fact they were weren't uh, liking uh, too much uh, the fact that they are introducing her. I couldn't like it doesn't really bother me so. <laughs> and that's it for about that subject. And I find like like the t-shirts and the the clothes that they added they are great for the custom content community. Like we are going to have so much more um, Maxis match t-shirts and tops using uh, for using the, uh, those. Uh, those clothes, like I'm sure there is a, going to be a lot of members of the custom content um, community in the Sims that are going to do more more clothing with that. So I try to look into the the positive side <laughs> of this. So here we are doing the master bedroom, like the parents' bedroom. And as I said, it's really inspired by the Scandinavian pig uh, style. Pig, I don't know how to pr you pronunci pronounce it, but it's something I, I follow. It's a style that I follow a lot on Pinterest. Uh, it's very white, very like colors, uh, light uh, woods. It's very cozy, and it was really what I was looking for. Uh, for this film, it was fitting the new decorations that came with the update. Oh, sorry. And uh, I really like this bedroom. Bedroom it feels really peaceful. Uh, and in the end, I will change the light. I like in all my buildings. I just put those uh, those uh, bright lights so I can see what I'm doing while I I'm building. And in the end. Before I save 
and post to the gallery my my build i will change the lights and put some uh, that fit more the room because even in gameplay i I, I know that a lot of players like when the rooms are really bright. I prefer a dim light. Like I don't like it too dark. Like it was in the beginning when The Sims 3 came out, the game was really dark. Uh, since a few updates a few years ago, it got really better. And I like when the rooms are dim. I don't like when it's really bright. Uh, because it hurts my eyes <laughs> and so I like to put dim lights in my bedrooms here I'm I was struggling to do the teenager bedroom so I went to my gallery and downloaded one of my previous rooms this I think I did this bedroom I did in the beginning of the year and it's I think it's called a millennial teenager room or something like that in my in my gallery if you ever want to download it I have a I my gallery isn't like it has all the the builds I do in my channel of course but the, it has also the builds I I did before I had my, ch my channel so if you like my style, my building style and everything, I recommend you to go uh, have a look in my gallery and maybe you'll find something. I did a lot, I have a lot of houses, a few apartments and uh, some rooms too. I think I'm more, I have more houses than anything else. I don't have that much sims, I'm not a great cast creator. I struggle a lot doing different things. Sims. Usually, I randomize the features of my Sims to have original Sims, and I'm still using it. I'm on the third or the fourth fourth generation of my family in the Sims. So it's been a quite a long time since I had to create a family in the Sims. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think after this we are. After doing this bedroom, we are just going to do the the balcony. Uh, I'm just adding plants and a few decorations. And now I'm going to twitch a few things in the um, in the living room, and then the video will be finished. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and um, tell me in the comments what you think about the updates about the problem with the Lindsay speakers the controversy around baby Ariel and uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I hope you have an awesome day and uh, if I don't post until there, I wish you Merry Christmas and uh, awesome holidays. Have a good day. Bye-bye.